Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to show all of you how to make your Pixar import into Godot version 4 properly. So if you take some of your art and you move it onto a preview window so that you can use it in your game, it's going to create a sprite for your character or whatever art you're trying to import. When you click on the sprite, and then if we come down here and expand texture, you're going to see filter mode set to inherit. So on inherit mode, that means it's going to use the defaults for your game. Now, if you want to do Pixar, then you're going to want to set it to nearest. So as soon as I set it to nearest, you can see all of these sprites are now rendering properly. But this is only going to change it for this one instance of this sprite. So if you want to apply it as the default to have the filter set to nearest for all imported assets in your game, then you're going to want to go up to project, project settings, and then down under rendering, you're going to go to textures, canvas textures, default texture filter, and you want to change this from linear to nearest. So when you do that, you're no longer going to need to change the filter on each sprite to nearest because you can just use inherit, which is automatically going to use nearest. But if you do have your project set up to be nearest for your pixel art and you do happen to be mix and matching that with something else that you don't want to have this uh, crisp hard pixel look, then you can always override it and put individual sprites back to linear. Maybe it's your interface or something. So if you set it to nearest here, that'll be the sprite level. And then once again, project project settings under rendering textures, you can set it to nearest as the default, which is going to make the pixel art look correct in your project. So that's pretty much it for importing pixel art into Godot 4 and making it look correct. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I'll see all of you in my future video content.